These are the ones who dare to be different, who try harder, aim higher, stand out from the crowd. These are the Extraordinary. Hi, my name is Jade and I've been flying planes since I was 13 years old. I have always been in and around planes. My dad got his pilot's license when I was one. I learnt to walk in an aircraft hangar and I just absolutely loved being in the back seat of a plane. I always knew I wanted to fly, but I just needed to find a way to make it happen. I realised it would take a lot of hours, a couple of exams, and that would mean a lot of money. A few months before I started flying, I had started a little hobby business called Cupcakes by Jade, where I just made cupcakes and sold them at the local markets. I thought, well, I could amp this business up and I could use the money from that to fund all my flying. I changed the business name to The Sugar Bite, I got it registered, and I started looking for more markets and more ways that I could expand the business. Once I realised I had enough money to actually have a flying lesson, my dad took me down to his old instructor in Cowra and I had my first lesson when I was 13. When I'm up in the air, it's honestly quite relaxing. I find it really calming, cruising over all the fields and looking at the paddocks. You have to be pretty on your game the whole time. You can't lose focus for a minute or you could lose your airspeed or your altitude. You need to really be focused all the time. It's really not as scary as people think. I don't really get nervous at all. There's a couple of times when something happens and you don't know how to deal with it straight away, but you figure it out. And I've been trained well enough to know how to deal with those situations. And honestly, flying solo is just so much fun and being up there alone is really satisfying. And you can sing as badly as you like. It's like driving, but you're 4,000 feet in the air. I assume it's like driving. I mean, I've never driven before, so. <laughs> so obviously I'm pretty busy. I'm a year 10 student, so I have a lot of schoolwork to do and I do have pretty high standards on myself for my grades. I run a business which takes up most of my weekends. I will bake on a Thursday night, ice them on a Friday night after school and I'll sell them all day Saturday, which leaves Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Sunday for studying and flying. I have three whiteboards, that one for each thing, one for my school assignments, one for business orders, and one for when I can fly and things I need to do for my flying training. I have enough money coming in from my business to completely fund all of my flying training. My parents haven't paid for a single lesson of my flying. I want to keep achieving all of my flying milestones. I want to achieve my private pilot's license on my 17th birthday and my commercial pilot's license on my 18th birthday. I think that if you want to achieve your goal, you need to make it really attainable. You need to be able to get there and make little goals, make them steps to build up to your big one and just work really, really hard towards it. It's not going to come if you just sit around and hope for it. I had a goal at a very young age and I worked really, really hard to achieve it and I just didn't give up. I found a way to make it happen and I did it all on my own. <laughs>